What's up, YouTube? What's good? What's good, YouTube? I'm your boy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. This channel is all about smelling good and looking good. We cover the gamut over here, man, as it relates to fragrances, and I throw in some style tips as well because I really wholeheartedly believe in presenting the best version of yourself you can present every day. So when you walk outside and you smell good and you look good, I think you're able to do that successfully. So if you're into that kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So on today's video, guys, I'm excited about the opportunity to uh, present to you a brand new fragrance release from the House of Amwaj. Um, you guys, if you've been following me for any amount of time, I'm sure you know I love this brand. You know, I have uh, 20 some odd fragrances in my collection uh, from the House of Amwaj. It may be even 30 now, I haven't counted in a minute. And uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the newest release from the library collection, uh, which is Opus 15. All right, last year we had um, another, in my opinion, great release from uh, this collection, which was Tobacco Royale, um, which was uh, Opus number 14. Cecile Zerokian composed that fragrance. I talked about it, you know, when it came out. If you would like to see that video, I'll make sure I link it here. But today we're getting into the new one. So I'm excited to talk about it. I'm gonna run the intro and when we come back, we're gonna get my thoughts. So if you wanna hear what I have to say about this new release, you guys know the routine, keep it locked right here. Let's get it, get it. <laughs> The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. I am ready to jump right into this video and talk about the new fragrance from the brand of Amwaj. I'm going to show you guys a bottle. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on it. Again, this is called Opus Number 15 King Blue. And here's a look at the bottle, which is, of course, gorgeous. Check out the bottle. The bottle comes in this beautiful uh, truffle colored bottle um, with a more, of course, uh, a lighter tone uh, cap on it, uh, more of a pewter colored cap. And the uh, Amouage emblem here is also in that same pewter uh, color. All right, now this is kind of a, the exact opposite contrast to the last release from this collection, which was Royal Tobacco, uh, which was this one right here. And I correct myself earlier. I think I said tobacco royale. It's royal tobacco. Um, but this is a, has the pewter here with the truffle colored cap and uh, Amwaj emblem. So it's like the direct opposite uh, inverse of the new release. I want to show you guys the bottle. Of, I meant the box as well, which is really beautiful artwork uh, on this uh, box as well. The two perfumers of this fragrance, Alexis. Grujan and Hamid Maradi Kashani. All right, so those are the perfumers, the two perfumers behind this fragrance. Now, creative director of Amwaj, Mr. Renald Salmon, uh, which again, I applaud who has done an amazing job since taking over as the creative director of Amwaj, uh, drew inspiration from this particular fragrance from a painting uh, from 1967 called The Art of Living. Now, the painting itself, uh, quite you know, definitely kind of whimsical in its, um, you know, overall presentation when you see it. It's of a gentleman that is wearing a pretty ordinary suit, uh, but the, the head of the gentleman is not an actual head. So it's like this big orange ball with a really uh, undiscernible facial expression, right? So the inspiration for King Blue was created uh, by seeing that particular painting. Now there's actually a, a some type of connection between uh, the Royal uh, Tobacco Fragrance and this one as well as far as the origins. But what this made Renaud Salmon think about was trying to create a fragrance of, of contrast and one that would make you think one thing and actually get another. Mission accomplished in my opinion. Now I may be uh, off base with exactly the complete 
you know, idea and thought process behind this fragrance. But my interpretation of that, when I smell this fragrance, is exactly that. When it opens up, and based on the name, you think you're getting something that you're not going to get. This is not a blue fragrance. The name of the fragrance is King Blue, but this is nothing close to being a blue fragrance. Now, this fragrance itself, 35% oil concentration, so the performance on it is really, really, really good, just like it was with Royal Tobacco. You know, they don't, you know, short on the ingredients, and so the, the performance is really great, 35% oil concentration. This fragrance is really based around a note of oud, all right? Silver oud to be exact. All right, this oud was uh, uh, was um, was bought from um, Ajmal, uh, which produces fragrance ingredients. And uh, so silver oud is a oud based on a description that is going to give you a contrast of animalistic and then very smooth. So it's a very animalistic but smooth oud. Now, I can't confirm nor deny if that's exactly, you know, uh, what this, if this type of oud is actually going to you know, develop and give you animal, animalistic then smooth. But I can say based on what I get from this fragrance, now it may be a combination of the other notes used, that's exactly how it comes across. Some people may be turned off by this fragrance when they first spray it if they don't like oud because as I just said, the oud does come off slightly animalistic in the first three minutes or so when you spray this. But in my opinion, you'll be going to make be making a grave error if you base it on those first three minutes because what this develops into, it was a definite love at first sniff for me, okay? So again, here's the bottle, guys. When you spray this, that's what you get straight away out of the gates. You're gonna say, ooh, this is an animalistic ooh fragrance. Wait about three minutes. The magic happens at three minutes, I'm telling you guys, because that's what it did for me. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of animalistic oud fragrances. So if it had continued along that line, I wouldn't have been a fan of this because I'm not, I wouldn't wear, I don't like fragrances that are animalistic oud start to finish. That's not what you get here. The first three minutes you get the oud. Then it's tamed. You get this beautiful, juicy, uh, contrasting note of mandarin orange, right? Three minutes into the fragrance, you don't quite pick up the fact that the oud is quite even there anymore because these other notes really, they did a good job of what he wanted to do, giving you something that you're good. You're thinking you're getting something and you're gonna, it's gonna turn into something else. So the oud is contrasted by this beautiful, juicy mandarin orange note, a slight sharpness of black currant, and then this slightly uh, peppery uh, freshness from pink pepper. All right, so that's what you get in the opening five minutes of this fragrance. So that oud, three minutes into the fragrance, is really uh, neutralized by these other notes. And again, it starts to be, kind of play the background, just kind of serve as a base for the duration of this fragrance. So again, if silver oud is supposed to be animalistic and then smooth, mission accomplished. Again, I can't say that's just how that oud is itself or if the notes in this fragrance kind of neutralize it and make it smooth, whatever it is, mission accomplished. Now, when this fragrance starts to dry down, to me, again, the oud is there, but it's really secondary the rest of the way with this fragrance. You no longer get animalistic oud. You barely pick it up in the background. What really takes over this fragrance to my nose and on my skin is this frankincense, which Amwaj is known for is incensey frankincense and leather all right so the leather and the incense play a major role predominant role to my nose the rest of the way in this fragrance and those notes also are contrasted by beautiful woods a very creamy sound of wood a really um slightly dry oak wood note uh in this as well and you're also going to get some patchouli in this so that patchouli the sandalwood, the oak wood, the way it combines with the uh, oud as this fragrance starts to dry down, I'm telling you guys, this thing is just masculine goodness. Masculine goodness. I put it on my skin after I got that initial spray and came back to it, and I was like, I told my wife, I said, I love this. I absolutely love uh, this fragrance. Not disappointed one bit in what you're going to get here. Like I said, I know some people, if you don't like oud, if you base it off the first three minutes, you may be like, I don't know about this. But like I said, 
Put it on your skin and come back to it after about three minutes. You're going to see what I'm talking about. It becomes about that leather. It becomes about that incense. It becomes about that sandalwood, that oak wood, and the patchouli. And like I said, the, the ooh really is blended so well and masked so well by the rest of these notes. I would have to say it is nothing but smooth uh, at that point because you really it really does not stick out like it does in the beginning, the very opening of this fragrance. Now, as far as performance goes, again, it's beast mode. This is definitely a fragrance I would only do three sprays. I would, I personally would reserve wearing this more so in the fall and the winter time. Because again, listen to the primary notes that you get most of the way. Oud in the background, leather, frankincense, uh, oak wood, sandalwood, patchouli. Again, heavier, uh, woody base notes, again, that earthiness a little bit with the patchouli, the smokiness with that leathery incense combination. So again, that's when I would wear it, but I'm telling you guys, this is, to me, a standout fragrance. I really, 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 really like this fragrance, and um, I am very happy to have this in my collection. So that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you my, uh, you know, review of the newest release from the House of Amwaj, King blue as always i sincerely appreciate your time i appreciate your attention to these videos i know you guys don't have to watch but you do and i sincerely appreciate it and don't forget to make sure you take a few moments out to like comment and subscribe and make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because i'm your guy darian i'm the bowtie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell amazing so until next time guys keep looking good Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.